Greetings fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors, I'm the DBZ Collector and this is the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle Ultimate Evolution Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta from Bandai or as they now call themselves Bandai Spirits He was released on February 2nd, 2019 and I got him from AmiAmi.com Unfortunately they are sold out out, but in the description box below, I'll provide links to other places that sell this figure. And before we take a look at the figure, let's take a quick look at the box first, as I always like to do. Here is the front, one side, the back, the other side, the bottom, and the top. And there is no Toei animation sticker. Uh, I'm not sure if they're ever supposed to come with one. Um, Asking around about that. But anywho, let's take him out and get a look at him. Alrighty then, here he is. For the most part, he comes whole. But his tail is separate. And of course, the base as well. Base and all, he stands at ten and a quarter. Without the base, he stands at nine and five-eighths of an inch. For the most part, they did a great job with this figure. The sculpt is done very well, as well as the paint application, and the paint quality seems... And they captured his likeness very well. Looks just like his anime counterpart. And I love the sculpt of the hair. Very nicely done. As well as the shading on the hair. Although I prefer the dark red was a little bit lighter. Not too much lighter, just a little bit. Just minor suggestions. These aren't complaints, just FYI. And as you can see, he's preparing the Big Bang Kamehameha against Omega Shinron. One thing about the sculpt that I think they can improve upon is his pants. I feel that they are not baggy enough. Maybe about a quarter of an inch on every side would make it look better. I guess it's their version of skinny jeans. Another thing is his backside's a little too square. And I like that the shading of the gray is not overbearing. I think it's about 50-50 uh, coverage. 50% gray, 50% white, not too gray. I'm just glad that it doesn't look like it's all gray. The shading on his belt, and the orange part of his vest, which is barely noticeable, the shading is done very well as well as the wraps around his ankles. And the shading on his skin is done very well also. Alrighty then, here he is compared to the FES Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the FES Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And here he is compared to the Kamehameha Times 10 Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the final Kamehameha Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegito and here he is next to the Ultimate Soldiers Broly and the Ultimate Soldiers Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta and here he is compared to the Final Flash Super Saiyan Vegeta and the Master Elise Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku the current king and if there are any other figures you'd like me to compare them to then let me know in the comment section below and I will reply back with an image of the comparison as soon as possible. Alrighty then, that concludes this review. If you enjoyed it, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have this figure, then let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on them. Even if you don't have them, let me know your thoughts and opinions based on what you've seen in the video. And if you would like to buy this figure, then check the description box below where I'll provide links to places that sell this figure. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.